we're going to look at the first of several indices that we can use to monitor our project progress. The first one is CPI or Cost Performance Index. It measures the cost efficiency of the work accomplished to date. Basically, are we burning through the money at the rate that we thought we would? CPI is calculated by taking the earned value divided by the actual cost. We interpret CPI by looking uh, at the value that we receive and if that number is greater than one we are saying that we are under cost or under budget. If it is less than one we are over cost or over budget and if we get a CPI value of one then we're right on target or right on budget. Let's look at an example here. Here I have an activity where the total plan value is $24,000. 50% of that activity is complete. So we'll take 24,000 times 50% and get 12,000. In order to get our actual costs, we're going to go to our accountant and our friendly accountant is going to tell us that our actual costs so far are $16,000 on this particular activity. So to calculate the CPI, we're going to take the earned value and divide it by the actual costs. So in this case, we're going to get a CPI of 0.75. Now when we look at where that sits on our scale here, we see that 0.75 is going to indicate that we are over cost or over budget. Another way to look at this is to think of for every dollar that we put into our project we are only getting 75 cents back out of it. If we look at another example here we have activity A with a total plan value of 24,000 again. Once again we are 50% complete with this particular activity, so our earned value is 12000 But when we go talk to our friendly accountant, he tells us that our actual costs are 9600 In this scenario, when we take EV and we divide it by AC, we get 1.25. This indicates to us that our project is under cost or under budget. Again, another way to interpret this number is to say that for every dollar that we put into our project, we are actually getting a dollar twenty-five out. So hopefully that provides you with a good overview of how we calculate and interpret CPI.